what's up this is Warren here back with a new video and in this video I am going to show you how to install Lineage OS PS2 Android Nougat on the Redmi Note 3. So without any further delay let's get started. Ok before getting started if you haven't subscribed to our channel already then hit that red subscribe button right now because you will love the content on our channel and hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload a video. As all of you guys know that Synergy Mode which is a popular custom ROM company has been rebranded as Lineage OS and they have recently released Lineage OS 14.1 for Redmi Note 3. To flash this Lineage OS 14.1 on your Redmi Note 3, you need to download these three zip files. The link to these zip files will be in the description down below, so do not worry about that. Once these zip files are downloaded, just copy them to your phone's internal storage or external storage. Once that is done, just turn off your device and boot into TWRP by holding volume up and the power button at the same time until you see your My logo. Once you have booted into TWRP, just go to backup and select everything and swipe to backup. Once that is done, just come back and just go to wipe, go to advanced wipe and select everything except internal storage and external storage and swipe to wipe. Once the wipe is completed, just go to install and install the Synergy Mode 14 firmware and Lineage OS 14.1 ROM and the GAPS file. Once these three zip files are flashed, just reboot your system. As you can see we have successfully booted into the system, I'll just skip everything to save you some time. As you can see the VLT is not working. I will give the direct link to the VLT patch file and you can also use Geo4G voice to fix this VLT issue. If we just go into settings, you can see it is running on Android 7.1.1. By tapping 7 times on the build number, we can enable the developer options. If we just go to developer options, we have some features like root enabler. RGB mode and some common features and the UI on this ROM is smooth as many other custom ROMs. If you just go into buttons, you can customize the tap action of the navigation buttons. For example by double tapping on the home button, you can turn off the screen and you have many more features like this one on this ROM. Now let's see how is the camera on this ROM. I would say the camera is good. But if you just click on the front camera, the camera app force closes, like the issue we had in Resurrection Genix ROM. It can be also solved by using any third party camera applications. Overall I would say this ROM is worth a try. That's it for this video guys, if you like this video then don't forget to give this video a use thumbs up and if you have any suggestions or queries then do let me know about that in the comment section down below and I will see you in my next video.